Hey, it's Jill with Cripflex. I told you today what I was going to be doing, or tonight, is a massive blinged up mini. Um, somebody wanted um, 10 minis, and she wants different poses, and I'm going to be doing four different poses actually. And I'm also going to be doing them in um, the traditional red and white polka dot. However, I'm not going to be using yellow shoes. They're going to be red shoes. And I've already got her all put together. She is two feet tall and she is double sided. The very first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to blush up her cheeks up here. And I'm going to use my um, pearlescent chalks from Pebbles. And just going to do her like a, a little bit different than I normally do. Put a little blush up in here and we'll do a little blush over here and there we go. Oops, I better do her other side. Boy, see? I need somebody here standing over my shoulder to keep me on track. A sitter, I tell ya. My granddaughter was here with me. She'd be having me on track. Anyway, there we go. Put a little bit of blush on here. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So we're going to be, oops, other than shut her tail in, the, in that um, chalk box. And where is my little, these little rubber eraser things are um, actually glue removers or sticky um, gummy things. The residue that stays behind or is when you glue things together in particular with the um, works great to get off the extra glue when you use the, the um, zip dry. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I am going to make her a bow for here and I'm going to be using the white because I'm going to be putting white lace around the bottom of her dress. And I'm going to, I want this bow really full, so I'm going to go down around here four times if I don't lose count here. And I need to do two of these, so I have one for each side. This particular person likes a lot of the tulle and the lace and the bling and all the little extras. After all, Minnie's going to a party. She should be all bottled up. So I need to make two of these. I will fluff them out after I get them wound up and throw them all over the floor. And two, and three, and four. There we go. And I'll get bow number two. Whoops! Cut that a little bit short. Don't have something to hold on here, so let's get away from me. So, and there we go. Got that one done, and I'm going to get this out of the way, and then I'm going to fluff these up. But before I actually glue these on, I'm going to put the trim on her dress. Um, I, I apologize if I've done this one before. Um, I know I've done the mini, but I don't know if I've done them with the lace and bling and, and uh, the extras on it. Um, if I have, I'm sorry, if I haven't, then have fun. And actually, if I've showed it before, eh, you probably wouldn't watch me again anyway. So, here we go, and there I've got my little white for her waist. Now, let me see what I have for bling that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this. And this is Recollections from Michaels. These are great. Um, Sunday paper always has an ad. And today, actually, I went to do a, a haul for paper and... Um, um, I don't remember what else I went there for. I went for paper and something else. I can't remember what. And they had, uh, I had a coupon in the paper today for 25% off of your entire purchase, even if it was on sale. These were 40% off, less than an additional 25%. And when you get them like that, you can't, you can't beat it. And I usually end up buying a ton when I do that. 
I was so excited because everything was so on sale and I still spent more than I wanted. I asked the guy when he was ringing me out, check my receipt because I could have sworn it wasn't that much. But this lace that I bought that I'm going to be using now was very, very expensive. I did get 25% off, but it was a lot more expensive than I normally would spend. But I thought it was so cute. So I'll watch for it when it's on sale. So there I got her bling on her shoes. And I'm going to bling up her neck. Let me see. Which one am I going to use? You know what? I'm going to use a whole bunch. I'm just going to go excessive on the bling this time. I don't really know why. I've never done that before, but we're going to see what it looks like. And I knocked off one of the little stones here. I really like the rope bling the best because it's the easiest to work with. Um, this stuff is so... It wiggles so much. When you take it off the paper, it, it's hard to... I don't know, it it sticks together and it's just hard to locate where you want it and get it. There we go on the dress in the front there and we're going to flip her over and do a dress in the other side and let me see, I'm gonna, another reason I'm not real crazy about on the sheets when they're all laid out like this, um, you have to cut them up. You know, I'm not going to use an entire sheet, typically, anyway. Um, this one I may end up doing so because I'm doing this for your benefit. But normally I would not use, let me see here. How do I want to position that? How did I do it on the other side? This one looks a little squirrely to me. I see how I did it. So we're going to go this way. And it's going to be the bodice of her dress is going to be all fiddling up. And I'm going to do her shoes on this side. The bling for her shoes on this side is not going to match the bling on the other side. Again, doesn't make a big difference because you're not going to be looking at the two sides together anyway. And so I don't care if they don't, aren't the same. And I've never ever, as many as these that I've made, I've never had a complaint yet. And let's see here. We're going to do that one this way. I got a little stone here. I think that's the one that fell off the other side. Let me see right there. How about that? It was stuck to my hand. So let me get it and put it back where it goes. There we go. There we go. That's why every crafter out there needs to have a um, one of these bees tweezers. They are the absolute best tweezer. And hopefully the ones that my granddaughter said will show up eventually. Because I have one on each one of my workstations. and Otherwise I have to roll all over my office to... There we go. We got the bling done. Now what we're going to do is I got this really cute uh, trim at Michael's today. And I just think it is so cute. It's like a chiffon. It's not really a lace or a ruffle, it's a chiffon. And it looks kind of, reminds me of those bubble. Oh, I just think that's so cute. That's what I'm gonna be using here. Now, when I glue this down, I'm gonna follow this line at the bottom of the dress, and I'm gonna hang it over an inch. And the reason for is because when I flip it over, I'm gonna roll that over so I don't have that raw edge. And, okay. I do a little piece at a time. Um, and my hot glue was off. So, my hot glue, what the heck? Oh, please don't tell me my hot glue broke, gun broke. It was just on. Well, you know what? If my hot glue gun isn't working, I'm not going to be able to do this. What the heck happened here? Well, that is a total shame. Because without it, I can't put this on. That is absolute necessity. So, what I'm probably going to have to do is just show you what I'm going to do. And then later, I'm going to put this around the bottom. I'm going to put this at her waist. And the other side will be the same way. And you know what? I'm going to grab one of these little pieces of bling and put it right up here on the top of her bow. And I'll put one on the other side. Anyway, I am so sorry that 
I am unable to do this because my hot glue gun broke. I hope I can get it going. I can't function without that gun. Anyway, I hope you can see that. I'm going to grab the camera and show you because I think she's going to be just adorable. And... Yeah, I think that's going to be really, really cute. Again, that material, or this, this lace thing that I got was at Michael's. Um, wasn't cheap. I think it was like $5.99 a roll. However, they had 25% off of everything. And it's going to be something I'm going to watch for when they have their 40% off or their sales on their ribbons, which will probably be next week. Anyway, I am so sorry I couldn't put that together, but I hope you can get the idea. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.